what is the significance of sincerity in the light of the Quran and Hadith and how does it impact our faith? I think that the previous question and this question is basically one and the same and that we've covered it already. Uh, we've spoken about how to develop sincerity and I've also added to that basically why it's so important for us to, to gain sincerity. Perhaps we can add, because it's asking about Hadith as well, we can add one very scary, in fact, for me, this is the most fear-inspiring hadith out there. Uh, you can find it in Riyadh al-Salihin as well. The hadith speaks about the first three people to be called forward on the Day of Judgment. The Alim, the Qari, and the Mujahid, or the Shaheed. They'll be called forward on the Day of Qiyamah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask each one, what have you done with what I had given you? So the Alim will say, I learned your deen, I taught your deen for your sake. The Qari will say, I recited your Quran for your sake. The Shaheed will say, I gave my life for your sake. But the reality is that these three individuals, obviously this is not every Alim, every Qari, every Shaheed, this is a specific category among them. They will be told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no, you've lied. The alim, you learned and studied and taught the deen so that it may be said of you that you are such a learned person. And it was said. You did it for that purpose and it was said. So you have nothing with me. Then Allah commands the angels to drag him by his face and throw him into the pits of the hellfire. Wal iyadu billah. Allah maghfadna. The qari, claiming to have recited for Allah's sake, Allah will tell him, no. You recited so that people could say you're such a beautiful, you know, you have such beautiful recitation, such an amazing reciter of the Quran. You, you got what you wanted. People said that about you. So again, Allah will command that the angels throw him into the fires of Jahannam. Billah. And then finally, the Shaheed. Remember, this is a person who died on the battlefield for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or at least that's what they claimed. Allah will say, no, you died, you gave your life, so that people may call you a brave man. And they've done so. You were celebrated as a hero. That was your purpose. That is what you received. So you have no reward by me. And again, the same outcome. Allah ma'ajidna min an-nar. Allah save us from, from Jahannam. This really embodies the importance of sincerity. For these individuals, they gave their lives, they literally spent their entire lives in pursuit of something, of a purpose that undoubtedly is a worthy cause. But simply because they pursued that cause with the wrong motive, with the wrong motivation, with the wrong objective, therefore, they ended up uh, failing and failing miserably at that. Subhanallah. May Allah protect us. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah